pack. The World Health Organization's cancer agency says that processed meats may lead to colon and other cancers, and red meat could be cancer-causing as well. Now, as you can imagine, many meat producers here in Nebraska are taking issue with these findings. So here to explain the issue to us more is Joan Ruskamp. She is from Dodge, Nebraska, and a member of the Farm Women's Group Common Ground. And the goal of this group is to put forth a positive message about agriculture. So thanks for being here today. Thank you. Hey. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Joan. So this is a really a strong statement coming from the World Health Organization um, talking about processed meats and how they could be linked possibly to colon cancer. What did you think when you heard this? Um, well, the study is out. I've read the headlines. And the what I believe we can glean from this is that no one food has been proven to cause cancer. So we can't sort out a single food and say definitely this causes cancer. We can't say a definite food cures cancer, but we know we want to prevent ourselves from getting cancer, so we want to do things that will minimize the risk. And so I think that's what we really need to focus on. Um, this is one body of people who have produced, um, released some information, and I think Nebraskans overall have pretty much brushed it as um, not that significant in the findings because it seems like there's a continual message and oftentimes we see a picture of steak grilling when any message comes out. I'm not sure why because we know that overeating, under exercising, um, eating too much of anything is bad for our health and so if we can do things like including l l lean red meat in our diet um, as part of a way to have that good protein source. And we're going to be showing a recipe later that really shows how in the morning you can fire up with good protein. Mm -hmm. um, and minimizing things like alcohol consumption, no smoking, exposure to sun even. Um, wearing, I'm out in the sun a lot because we have a feedlot. And so mm -hmm. wearing sunscreen to protect ourselves from, from what the sun can give us. So they have sun listed as a carcinogen. and so. But then if you work the night shift, that's also listed as a carcinogen. Right. So it's like, don't go outside, but don't stay inside either. Right. So that alone says, let's have a balance. Let's have a balance in what we eat uh, and make sure we're including a lot of healthy things in our diet. Yeah, I think that's a good point because I have heard experts say you have to have moderation. Mm -hmm. And you do need meat for the protein. That's what experts are saying as well. And you know, we have, fortunately around Dodge, we have a lot of elderly people that are over 100 years old. And so, and in the grocery stores when we meet consumers, I'll often ask the older people, what do you do to stay healthy? Because they're obviously looking healthy, they're active, and they say, stay active and eat a variety of foods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't cut anything out of their diet, but they also realize that it's important to eat in moderation and eat a variety of foods. And so to say you need to cut this and then everything's going to be fine would mislead a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe the message you're, you're giving us too is the World Health Organization is kind of targeting one form of food when there's so many other, you just don't know which food is really a culprit or is it a culprit? There's just too many questions Well, there's out a lot there. of processed food, I mean. Yeah. That's true too, and so I think bacon was mentioned and sausage and things like that. And so, again, it's important to eat in moderation. Mm -hmm. um, bacon is on a lot of wonderful things we eat, like mm -hmm. cheeseburgers and eggs and bacon. And bacon so, and tomato. <laughs> yeah. Bacon, tomato, um, lettuce sandwiches. So, mm -hmm. again, it's important that moderation and a lot of times if you combine a whole lot of things, like let's say you smoke, you, you drink a lot, and you eat a lot, well, if you throw all these things together, you're, you might increase your odds of getting cancer. But to look at the whole world, 7 billion people, 22 scientists from 10 countries that are kind of trying to figure out cancer research, and we spent billions of dollars on cancer research, we still don't have a definitive Mm -hmm. except you know we know smoking is linked to lung cancer and so and exposure to sun can lead to skin mm -hmm. cancer we know that and so we limit those exposures and risks mm -hmm. in the choices we make yeah. well we could go on and on about this mm -hmm. topic but I know one thing I'm gonna continue eating beef and bacon <laughs> thank you yeah so, it's good um, and we were raised with it so yeah, yeah. absolutely thank yeah you. okay well thank